What's up, friends? Happy New Year. Happiest of New Years. It's 2023. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season with whatever you celebrate. This year, we were a little more quiet than we were anticipating, but it's because we have so many things going on, and it's it's been a juggling act. But let's start off with this. A, we have our property in the Rocky Mountains, outside of Slidic, Colorado, which we absolutely love. 18 acres, bordered by national forests. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We it, love it out here. We love it. It's our dream property. We have, for those of you who don't know us, we also have two kids. We have an eight-year-old, Everly. She's awesome. Very high energy. A part-time dragon. Full of love. <laughs> and then we have a three-year-old, Atlas, who pretty much just wants to like run his bike into walls. Mm -hmm. And then we're also trying to build um, an A-frame which has been quite the struggle. I don't know if any of you are in a building process right now. It would be an understatement to say that it's been difficult because it's been freaking challenging. It's been very challenging. We got the property end of 2019, 2020 we were going to build, obviously COVID happened and we were like, let's put this off for a year. So then 2021, we got our construction loan in, in March. We were ready to build, ready to hit the ground running, and there was this huge national lumber shortage. I think you guys can guess most of the issues, yeah. <laughs> why it's been difficult to build a house. So that is A, right? And so then the B part of why we've been silent is because there's also been this, we haven't really talked about it too, too much, but basically our local county has been giving us a hard time for being on our own land oh, right. and they've accused us of doing something basically hosting commercial camping through hip camp which we love hip camp side note but we haven't been doing that but good news is we basically did unfortunately have to kind of get a lawyer and say listen if you're going to keep going after us with these false claims we're gonna have to and then they dropped it a building an a-frame B, the county really sucked this year. <laughs> C, we went on tour and we're gone for the whole summer doing a mo mobile marketing tour. And now we're back here, we're building out the A-frame and we're building out um, our bus that's gonna coincide with the tiny music studio on the property. That's kind of where we're at. Now. That's where we're at. And so we had to pull a permit from a local county to actually camp on our own property Yes, that is a thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's a side note and a conversation for another day. There are so many misconceptions about being able to buy land and do something tiny on it. Your van or your bus or a shipping container yeah. or a tiny house, a standard tiny house. There are so many rules and red tape around it. So we've learned an insane amount about all of that. and We're yeah. going to share it with you. End goal is we just want to live in harmony with the people that are around us and we want Absolutely. to be a, a space that's welcoming to travelers and people coming through right. and where our friends can right. come and create music and create art and that right. is what we're doing here whether we do that um and profit from it or if we do it and as a non-profit on a more philanthropic kind of or or giving kind of thing right um, that's what our passion is. That is what our dream has been since before we even got the van, or if you've really far to travels, before our 48 state road trip oh, in yeah. 2016, which actually started all of our travels. We are aiming to start putting out videos every Sunday. We're super stoked for it. It's going to be in part building out, finishing this bus. It's gonna be doing odds and ends things on our property, developing and improving our property. And probably most of the content will be building an A-frame cabin from scratch. From chicken scratch. Not from chicken scratch. So if that sounds nice to you, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't, follow us on Instagram at the fights, F-I-T-E-S. Send us a message. Um, We'd comment love to below. connect with you. We love Com connecting. Absolutely. Comment below if there's any questions you have or anything um, that you'd like to add. Yeah. Talk to you guys soon.